By the end of the night, you should be dancing, yeah. We remember the, the first time we ever saw the film, which was at the Chinese theater. And, and, and he also talked a lot about um, that he decided he had to walk to stay in alive because it wasn't really a dance record. So perceptions of, our, of those songs at that time were different than they are now. This year marks the 40th anniversary of the iconic movie and its number two selling movie soundtrack of disco anthems. Barry said it all started when the Bee Gees manager, Robert Stigwood, approached them looking for music and a title for a movie he was producing. I told him I had this song called, an idea for, called Stayin' Alive. I had an idea called Night Fever. And maybe that's a good title. And he, and he said, no, no, he said, that will be too pornographic. So I thought, well, okay. So I told him I had more than a woman and I had, uh, how, how deep is your love? And eventually I sat down with my brothers and we fleshed them all out. Barry and artists like Keith Urban, Tori Kelly, DNCE, and Celine Dion sing some of the most iconic hits ever written by the Bee Gees at the Grammy Salute. A bittersweet night for Barry, whose brothers Robin and Morris have passed away. It was an enormous amount of emotions, different emotions. Uh, uh, one of those intense emotions is, is having, having Celine Dion sing one of your songs. This is a legendary voice. Celine sang a song titled Immortality, which the Bee Gees wrote for her in 1997, but backstage she had her disco shoes on. John Travolta, uh -huh. I mean, doing the walk and, and the sidewalk. I was like, oh my, oh my God, what, what is that? You know, like it's like something that we've never heard before. We were all freaking out. <laughs> and today we hear it and we're still freaking out. <laughs>